All right, here we go. Returning back to Suicide Squad, I wanted to check out the Joker and just kind of show off some gameplay. I played as him for about 30 minutes to kind of get used to the game again. Have not touched this game since launch. I finished the game, the story, did the end game for like a couple hours and then just kind of uninstalled it since then. But they got the Joker. I want to go ahead and show like the intro cutscene they have for him and then we'll kind of check out some gameplay. All right, love you all. Thanks for the like support. Let's go ahead and get this. Ah, memories. I don't know what you're looking for, but cards on the table. You don't get more unreliable narrator than me. <laughs> it's my thing. And the collateral damage. <laughs> oh, but don't worry about that. Ah, I remember you invading like it was yesterday. Heroes and villains working together. Imagine me being one of humanity's last defenders. <laughs> what a gas! Oh, that's right. You, um, don't have a sense of humor. If only the others had listened! I had big plans for us going out with a bang! But you know what they say about good intentions. You can't kill them all! <laughs> oh, 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 that's when we first met! Oh, we could have been pals, shared torture tips. But you, you ruined my Earth! That's my modus operandi! I hate being upstaged. So if you thought you could keep this very active pathological imagination in a jar, think again! Then, I discovered you have been giving my Earth a makeover. What's a place like this doing in a guy like me? Well, I'll pick your brain about it sometime. Ice pick! <laughs> All right, so the reason it may be kind of weird with the voice lines, they're going to talk about the You're Joker. You're device. supposed to unlock him. I'll actually show you. So you see at the very, very top. So first off, you get the battle pass. They just added that. Uh, the game they gave me, I guess it came with it. So I had like two different tokens to unlock everything. This is as far as I got. I got the Harley Quinn stuff, and it kind of came with it. It looks cool. And I guess I'll show off like the end of it too. Uh, some of these look okay. The ones at the end look insane. I'll actually show you. So you got... Joker, different skins for him already, which is kind of crazy because most people have to actually play. I think you got to play for, it sounds like six to eight hours just to unlock him. Let me go to the very end. It's kind of weird. It's not even like a, what's it go to? 76? Yeah, there it is. Look at these last ones. I'm not sure why they left out a character. So they got, this one looks really cool. Then we got Joker. I mean, this is a really sick looking outfit. <laughs> King Shark looks amazing. And then we got Harley Quinn at the end. Pretty standard battle pass. I don't mind it. I mean, I'm not going to really go for anything. I'll probably just like play the season a little bit and see how it goes. But that's pretty much it. You no doubt remember there are 13 brainiacs across the latticework of dimensions. Mm-hmm. Kill them all. Get cool shit. Don't go back to Arkham. We have to find them first. To do that, Hack is pulling computational power from everything with a CPU for a hundred miles. Each pathway leads to a different reality, all ravaged by Brainiac. Elsewheres, elsewhens, elseworlds, you could say. Ooh, catchy. Alright, episode one, Fear. We got some dialogue. So this is where we were. Finite Crisis, Bane armor sets, all that stuff. I did it for a little bit, but I'm going to stay in episode one because the Scarecrow stuff looks pretty cool and kind of want to check it out. But the game doesn't even have like actual story stuff other than like the one mission on the map. And oh, yeah, let me just go ahead and show it. The way it works is I'll show you on the map. So you want to go up here. Where's it at? I'm not even high enough to do this yet. This is why I actually bought him. So it says mission locked. All players in the squad need to be episode rank 35. That doesn't mean the level. That means the thing at the very, very top. You have the battle pass, but you also have, it's the thing up here. So like, if you look at the actual stuff, it's just 
things you unlock, and apparently once you get to 35 on this, then you can do, like, the story thing to unlock him. And this is how that actually works. I think I explained that as best as I could. Um, and I'm assuming you just fight Brainiac over and over, because the whole point of this entire thing is to unlock Joker, but I couldn't wait. His traversal, by the way, is insane. Easily the best character in the game. Ready for this? You just want to just fly up in the air? Just get going. I mean, it's so sick. I'm kind of happy they added him first. I saw, like, the other characters that they're going to have, like, drop eventually. But the way it works is you'll go on the map and, like, this says, like, plus two, for instance. And you just kind of farm these or the ones that have plus one. This is another plus two one right there. I'm going to find one that does plus one because I don't want to, like, overwhelm myself. Here we go. I think his movement is by far the best in the game. I gave, like, the end game a legit shot. I wasn't really feeling it, you know, after a while, but I want to return to the Joker, kind of show off some gameplay for him. Um, the thing is, I would have to play for a very long time to even get to, like, level 35. Because I want to show off, apparently it's like an end game cutscene where you actually save him. And it'd be kind of cool to see that, but it is what it is. His, by the way, his guns he can have, he can have like an AR, a pistol, shotgun. Let's just go over here. But you just do all the stuff on the map that's always been there. There's like a few different things here and there. You have a new type of uh, gear set that's like based off the Scarecrow stuff. And I haven't got any of it yet. I literally just started playing. But I want to like explain the whole setup and everything. Kill all enemies. Here we go. Yeah, I was really hyped for this. I'm just happy that Joker came first because I feel like if he did not, the game would have been uh, dead in the water. <laughs> oh, let me show you this really quick. So watch his, uh, his ability. Isn't that crazy? I'm a little rusty, so forgive me on that. Theft of knowledge. Is a capital offense to new code. But it's one of the things I never really got around to appreciating was the movement and all the characters. I felt like Harley Quinn was kind of limited. I felt like Captain Boomerang had probably the best traversal, at least in my honest opinion. But yeah, what I'm doing right now, you would just do that for a very long time to actually unlock him. And I'm kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I can either grind for like a couple of days when I have time. I That's pretty quick. Stuff like that's actually, that was very fast. I wonder if I can like replay that. I was checking out, like, the player count on, like, Xbox, Steam charts. I was checking the Reddit to see. Then that's pretty much all you do. That's, like, <laughs> you just got to do this till you get, like, level 35 on that. Now, we can unlock stuff along the way. So, I'm going to probably check some of this stuff out. Please be red. It's purple. All right. I got into the end game a little bit. I didn't get crazy with it, though. Uh, I think we're good. Back to the action. That's pretty much it. I wanted to show off some gameplay. I'll do like a few more things and kind of just like show you uh, maybe some different, more challenging stuff. We got bug outs. Oh, the tank thing. I forgot about that. I'm wondering like high roller. Yeah, it even shows you what you get. So this is kind of like what you're going to, yeah, like the actual Scarecrow Infamy set. Firearms. You got this one. It's actually going to give you the neck bomb mods. So you have, like, the stuff on the map that gives you the pluses, which is kind of what I want to focus on right now. I love how he just floats around. <laughs> it's actually way better. But his other ability? It's like he charges up. Watch this. 
You just jump whenever you're ready. Yeah, I kind of enjoyed my time with the game. I kind of wish that there was more story stuff. And I felt like they'd kind of... Hold on. Keep forgetting Brainiac just talks to you randomly. I'm just wondering, will they get to all the Brainiacs? You know? Because there's supposed to be a ton of them. I kind of like how you can just kind of like float around and shoot as you're just like gliding. All right, here we go. Good old fashions. I hope this pain train never stops. Got something to help you out. Back in the truck. Follow the path here. Every time I play this game, I always just want to play the Arkham games. I don't know why. Like Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, all of them. I feel like they were such great games, you know. <laughs> All right, get ready. Let's give him some stamps. That was a lot of damage. I don't even have anything really good yet. I have like some starter equipment that I had on my other characters. I think that's gonna miss there probably. Uh, what just happened? Get inside here. Stick to the payload. Payload's back on the move. Solid work for once. Once this thing blasts, we can actually destroy the other thing and then keep the progress going. I did a lot of this in the end game when I was messing around with it. I, I played it on PS5 normally. Now we can destroy it. Holy shit! I think that blast might have given me a 10. But I played on Steam afterwards because everything's like cross-play, cross-progression and all that. So I just decided I was like... Wait, should I go? I think I need to actually go in the tunnel. Hold on. Try to get out of here. <laughs> Trapped the tunnel a little bit. But I gave it a fair chance. I remember playing the end game. I think I was on PC for probably like four or five hours. Maybe not even that long. They're after you. You can run, but, you cannot hide. but it was just so grindy. I was like, yeah, it reminds me like the Destiny days where I used to like farm the same strikes over and over, and I'm like, I just I, I just can't do that now. I don't know. Oh, let me change weapons on it. I need an AR so bad. I feel like the shotgun and pistol combo is not that good. The minigun's always been like the best gun in the game, I feel like. Halfway to losing the payload. I want to see some defense. Gotta locate the enemies. Are they all just down here? Is it performance truly worthy of my attention, Joker? <sighs> The tower is done. Take it out. One thing I've learned is his traversal is so high. I absolutely scaled that entire... Look at that. That's insane. <laughs> and to get that far that quickly is insane as well. I just love how they made him like really goofy. All right, this is my favorite moment. Here we go. The cool thing about his traversal that I like is you can do like the actual blast twice. Not sure why sometimes it doesn't do it that much. There we go. Look at that damage. Oh my goodness. Wait, I can't actually do the attack. -o? Why did it just like throw a grenade all the way over there?
Yeah, I think that they keep adding stuff to the game. Maybe I can see it kind of succeeding. I've been wanting to talk about this for a while because there's been so many games that have come out in like the last couple of months and I'm just like, I don't know how this game's gonna last, you know? You have like a road map. The shotgun reload perfect thing is so weird. It's like right in the beginning. Save for the pistol. But I just kind of wonder, like, what's the gameplay? What if they're, like, no players after a while? You release episode two and hope for the best, or what? <laughs> I'm not sure, like, the progress of that, like, cells versus commitment, you know? I love just floating around. What? Two revives? I think I get killed right there. I guess I was a little too close, I guess. I don't really know. Need some shields. Alright, tower's vulnerable. Wait, can I... So we got like one more, I think. Yeah, I think he's easily my favorite character they've had. Like, out of the five that we already have, you know? I feel like they're not gonna... It'd be tough to top this one, I feel like. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the low blow. Oh my god. Hold on. I can't use my abilities. I gotta wait. Oh no. I can hear myself think. And I'm thinking intense baby. It reached over here too? I might die again. <laughs> Need shields. Okay, going up. Getting shot out of the sky. I love it. I got some shields there. Not a lot, though. There's two of them. Hold on. Where are you going? I was really hoping I could like jump into some actual story stuff. I didn't know. I did like a lot of research on the actual episode because I saw like episode one. I'm like, hey, more DLC that's you know got story stuff, and it does have story, but it's locked behind that whole thing. <laughs> and it's just one mission where you fight Brainiac, and I'm assuming it's the exact same fight I did in the ending video. Oh my. Or restock. I love it. I'm getting cooked right now. What is this? I'm like, that electric thing makes it where I can't do anything. Try. You can just bomb the whole area. That's insane. I didn't realize it was like that. I thought it was just like in a specific area. If you get high up enough, I'm guessing it's just everywhere. Trying. We got a minute left.
Getting up really high than throwing grenades might be the play, I feel like. I'm like really like zoned in right now. <laughs> zoned in or zoned out? One of the two. I'm gonna die again. It's all good. Nice. This guy deliver that, then we're chilling. Always reminds me of Independence Day. He just flies his ship into the alien thing. Yeah, and that's pretty much like the... I guess like the gameplay loop, you know? You just unlock stuff as you go. Once you get to like... Fear episode level 35, you can then go get him. That's essentially all you do. Let's see what kind of gear we get. Please be red. I'll take it. Any kind of upgrades right now is helpful. Anything that's not Does this, it it's probably not going to be worth it. Oh, we got a shotgun. Is it I better? It's called Contagion. Take it. All right, so it's worse. <laughs> and I thought I was a show off. Oh, I haven't shown off his skill tree and stuff yet, have I? All right, so essentially. You kind of reset everything. A man willing to take a chance. Yeah, so it's like, hold on, show tutorial. That's something else. Okay, never mind. Forget that. Edit talents. Yeah, this is essentially what it looks like, though. I mean, it's the same as all the other ones. It's a lot of, like, grenade or melee. Then it's, like, stuff on the actual weapons he can use, which is the shotgun, pistols, assault rifles. Everything else is just kind of... Well, let's get that one. And loadouts. Here's kind of what I got him set up right now. Nothing crazy. It's just the stuff I had on other characters. I just moved to him because I wanted to play as him. Since you only have four characters. My my least used character. Because I liked Captain Boomerang, King Shark, Harley Quinn. I didn't play as Deadshot much even in the actual series. What did I get on the battle pass? It actually unlocked something. You just claim it afterwards. Luther coin. That's funny. <laughs> Always forget its name that. And that's essentially the loop. But anyways, wanted to show off some Joker gameplay. Thank you all for watching this. Kind of a short video, but if I actually get to that rank, I'll show like the actual boss fight. But for now, this could be it for a little bit. But yeah, thank you all for watching. It means a lot to me supporting these videos. The support on Suicide Squad is still one of my most viewed videos this year on part one. So thank you for that. Um, kind of curious to see what they have in the future for this game. But for now, this is it. Love you all, and I'll talk to you very soon. Peace.